this video, I'll be covering the B2B portal. I'll be showing the B2B portal from a user experience. So this is what the customers would experience when logging into your B2B portal. If you needed help on how to set up your B2B portal, we do have other videos on this channel that will be more to your requirements. The first thing your customers would need to do is to log into the portal to gain access to it. So I'm gonna go ahead now and log into my portal. Once logged in, I can see all of the products that are listed. I can see the price and I can see if they're in stock or not. If you have customer specific pricing, that can also reflect on the B2B portal for you as well. So as I can see on here, I can see all of the products that have been listed on the portal. I can also see the breakdowns of categories so I can click into the categories and just see the classic cakes, for instance, or I can just see the cupcakes, for instance. We also have tags on the left hand side here. So if I just wanted to see decorated cakes, I would just click decorated and that would only show me the decorated ones there. You also have a pricing filter here where we can order this to have low to high or high to low on price there as well. As a customer, what I would also be able to do on the B2B portal is I would be able to see my name here. I would be able to see a contact number for the company and I'd be able to see the currency that I'd be ordering in as well. I would then be able to update any of my addresses by going into addresses. I could edit or remove any of these addresses and add a new address if I wanted to. This address would then store against my contact card in the system too. I can also change my password for the portal. I can also hide prices within the portal if I did not want to see the price. I can also see all orders I've ever done within this portal. And I can also initiate a return from here as well. I can also see any returns I have done within the system and the status. I can also do a quick order which is where I can just add all of these things and quickly order. You can also upload a CSV file to create an order also. You have also got bulk ordering, which is more for product families. So if I go ahead and show you how to do an order normally, I would then go ahead and go back to the catalog page. Let's say I wanted to order a classic cake. I can click on the classic cake category and let's say I wanted to add this cake here. So I could go within the cake here. I would then see the details. I'd see the product code, the name of the product, the fact that it's in stock, and I'd be able to add my quantity here and add to my cart. So let's say I'm going to order five of those. If that completed my order, I could go ahead and go to my cart and check out straight away. But if not, I can also continue shopping and that will take me back to the catalog page. Against each of the products, you also have a little heart there and you can favorite any products that you order frequently. Another way to order a product is if I wanted to order this chocolate fudge cake, I can just click add to basket there and that would just add one into my basket. If I wanted to order more than one chocolate fudge cake, I can go on the quick view which will give me a summarized page and will allow me to add multiple quantities and I can add that to the cart straight away. Once I am happy with everything in my cart, I can go ahead and review my order here and I can also add any comments I need to. As I'm happy with my order, I can just go ahead and click check out. My address details will pull from my customer card so they'll already be pre-filled out. So now I will select my shipping method. This is where I will get the option to put my order on back order or I can split my order if anything is not in stock. So I can have a single delivery of the whole order until all items in stock, that would put that on back order. Multiple deliveries, that would put my order on a split order, so it would make two orders for me within the system. So let's select single delivery for this now. And then the payment method, I can select that down there. And once I am happy, I can then pop in any details here. So I can put in my purchase order number as the customer. So let's say that's that. And then I can also put a telephone number in here to contact. And I can also put a preferred delivery date here. 
and that would be the required by date in the system. I can then add any attachments I need to and I can add any notes again about my order here. Once I'm all happy with that, I can go ahead and confirm this order. And then once I have confirmed my order, I will then get a little message here to say that my order has been created and it will give me my order reference here. I will then also be able to see my order in the all orders section as well that we explored earlier. I can also reorder any orders if I'm constantly ordering the same things just to quicken up the process also. That's everything for this video today. So thank you very much for watching.